loves welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Masamia Mustafa if you're new to the channel thank you so much for coming don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and if you are on subscriber returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back thank you so much so like you've already seen from the title in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how I made this beautiful granny stitch top as you can see it comes with this this spiciness on the side which i actually love i'm obsessed with i cannot wait to style this in so many so many different ways um the stitches i use is just granny stitch which is made of double crochet as well i did use single crochets of a stitch chain as well all the information and all the materials i use will be down in the description below so don't forget to check it out feel free to check it out and if you have any questions at all don't forget to drop them down in the comment section and i'll definitely definitely make time to answer the question and again if you have not subscribed yet and then you want to see more crochet tutorials i have so many more crochet tutorials on my channel and many more to come so don't forget to join the family and if you like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up as well so let's not make this into too long let's get right into the tutorial guys so for this tutorial i will be using a medium weight yarn but again you can use whatever size yarn that you would want to um i think the instructions will be able to take you along the way depending on um any yarn you're using it's fine you don't have to use a medium weight yarn like i did i am using a 3.5 millimeter the recommended hook for this yarn is actually a 5 to 6 millimeter but i am using a 3.5 a scissors of course you'll be needing a scissors and your measurement tape to take your measurements of course so to get started i'm just going to go ahead and make a slip knot the pattern is working multiple of three because again we are doing the granny square so you're going to chain a multiple of three until you have your desired bust measurement when it's divided so again, for example, if your measurement, so if your bust measurement is 34 inches, which is in my case, I am going to divide my 34 inches by two, which gives me a total of 17 inches. So I'm basically going to go ahead and do multiple of three until I have a total of 17 inches long. So right here i did a total of 60 chains which is a multiple of three so when it's stretched it goes all the way to 17 inches which is the perfect length for my size so after my multiple of three which in my case is 60 i'm going to go ahead and chain an extra one and right into the second chain from the hook i'm going to go with a single crochet and into the next with a single crochet so I'm basically going to repeat one single crochet in every chain from the previous row up until the very end and at the end I shall have a total of 60 single crochets. So right here I just finished my last single crochet in the last space and again like I said at the end you should have a total of 60 single crochets if you're making my size which is basically my bust measurement which is 34 so if your size is you if your bust measurement is 34 then you're probably making the same size and you're using the same yarn and the same size of work so yeah so to get started with the first row you're going to chain one and turn and right into this first single crochet we are going to go with a double crochet to start off the row so right after your double crochet you're going to skip two single crochet which is this and this and into this third we are going to go with three double crochets right there which is the granny square pattern we're working on like this so afterwards you're going to skip two again and into the third you're going to go with three double crochets two right there 
skip two single crochets which is one two and into the third which is right there you're going to go with three double crochets one two three right there so i'm going to repeat this pattern skip two and into the third with three double crochet up until the very end of the row, and then i'll come back and show you guys how we are going to end off the row together Coming right up, I am actually almost at the end of my first row. So this is the reason why I said you need to work a multiple of threes. So right here you can see I have my three last single crochets right there. So to end off the row, just the way we started with a double crochet and then a space two, skip two chains, sorry. We are going to repeat the same thing, which is in this case, skip two chains and into the last one, you are going to go with a double crochet. Right there, make sure you're going right into the last single crochet from the previous row with a double crochet to complete row two. So, to get started with row three, chain one and turn, and right into this first double crochet, you're going to, of course, go in with a double crochet right into the previous double crochet. So, from here on, we are going to go right into this next space with a three double crochet. And this is how it looks and again into this space right here where we skipped two single crochets you're going to go with three double crochets so you're basically working your double crochets from this row into all the space this chain two space this is where you're going to work your three double crochet up until the very end where you're going to repeat and seal off the row with a double crochet like we did at the beginning so i'm going to work my way with my double three double crochet into the chain two space up until the very end and then i'll come back and show you guys how we are going to end off the row again so right here coming to the last chain two space i'm going to go right there with my last set of double crochets which is three double crochet all in the same space and again to seal off the row like we did at the beginning we did a double crochet we are going to go right into this double crochet with a double crochet that is the last double crochet we did from the previous row so to get started with the next row of course we are going to chain one and turn and right into this first double crochet we are going to go with a double crochet and from here on we are going to go into this chain to space with a three double crochet right there and again we are just going to repeat three double crochet in every chain to space which is basically right on top of the granny square we did from the previous row which is basically right on top of the three set of double crochets that we did you're going to go right there with in this space with your three double crochet so i'm going to go ahead and repeat this pattern up until the very end and then i'll come back and show you guys how we are going to end off the row for row three so coming right at the end of my row three i have again uh three set of double crochet right here so i'm going to go right into there with my three double crochets right there and into this chain one into this double crochet from the previous row i'm going to go with a double crochet to seal off the row so right there i just did my last double crochet so basically this is the pattern you're going to continue this because this is going to be the panel from your shoulder right on to under your bust area because right after the under bust that is where we are going to start decreasing on one side of the panel so you can see this is currently a total of one and a half almost two inches so i'm going to repeat this up until i think a total of 10 or 11 12 i'll come back and show you guys the right amount because i have to work this along and put this across my body to know where 
I actually need to stop. So I'm basically going to repeat the entire pattern until I have this panel long enough to actually go from my shoulder to right under my bust area. Again, you're going to chain one at the beginning of each row. Your double crochet is where you're going to start with and you're also going to end the row with a double crochet. And again, you're just going to work three double crochets right up top of the granny square on from the previous row. So you're basically going to repeat this pattern until you have your desired length. And I'll come back and show you guys what the next step is. So coming up right here, I have a total of 24 rows complete. And that is a total of, let's see, 10 and half inches, starting from the top. But keep in mind that this obviously stretches all the way to 15, sometimes even more. Um, so from here on, I'm going to go ahead and do start with decreasing. So what I did is I'm going to decrease for two rows. So to get started with my 25th row, I'm going to go ahead and chain one and turn. And I'm going to go right into this first with a double crochet. Right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and do my three sets of double crochets right there. After my three sets of double crochet, I'm just going to continue to do my three double crochet right into the same space that we've been doing up until the very end of the row. Coming right up at the last um, space right there on my row 25, I am going to skip this because again, we are going to decrease, but then the decreasing is going to be at the end of the row, not at the beginning of the row. Remember at the beginning, we did just the same thing we've been doing. And at the end, this is where we are going to decrease. So again, when we are going to start with 26, we are not going to decrease on the side. We are going to decrease on the opposite side, which is going to balance row 25 and row 26 decrease pattern. So for that, usually you would go in to this last space with three sets of double crochet, but because we are decreasing, we are going to skip that. And right into this last double crochet, we are going to go with our last double crochet to seal off row 25 right there so that is our first decrease so you're going to chain one as usual and turn so depending on the size you're making yours might be another row but you're basically just going to again like i mentioned make your panel up until under your bust area and then you start a decrease pattern yours might be even a row 29 28 or even lesser than mine which is 24 but again, I'm just showing you guys what I do after I have my desired length, which was 24 rows. So to get started with the next row, I'm going to go right again with my double crochet because again, I said we are decreasing at the end of the row and not at the beginning of the row. So right into this space, I'm going to go with my three double crochet. And into the next, I'm going to go with my double crochet. So I'm basically going to repeat the same double crochet, three double crochet pattern, the granny square pattern up until the very end of the row. To repeat the decrease pattern, we usually would go in here with our last set of three double crochets, but we are going to skip that and into the next last double crochet, we are going to go with a double crochet to seal off the row. So I'm going to repeat this pattern for two more rows, so 27 and row 28. So going back again when you start the row you're just going to chain one and double crochet right into there so because at the beginning of the row there is no increase so you're basically going to do the same thing and at the end you're going to increase decrease sorry so at the beginning of the row there is no decrease but at the end there is a decrease so i'm basically going to do this for 27 this is row 27 and then i'll come back to row 28 and do my last decrease and then i'll come back and show you guys what the next pattern is because afterwards we are going to decrease on just one side of the panel and the other side we are not going to be decreasing anything so coming right up on my row 20 8 i'm going to go ahead and just do my last decrease which is skip this 
space and right into the last double crochet with my last double crochet to seal off the loop. So again, you can see the thickness on both sides of the panel. So now after row 28, I'm going to start my decreasing on one side of the panel and the other panel is going to be um, straight panel. So basically no decreasing. So the other side of the panel is not going to have decreasing and one side of the panel is where we are going to decrease for the desire, for the style we are going for basically. So after chaining one, I'm going to go right in there with a double crochet because remember we are not decreasing at the end of at the beginning of the row we are decreasing at the end of the row so i'm going to basically just do my double crochet right into that first like i did and then my set of three double crochets in every space up until the very end where we are going to decrease because i'm going to be decreasing on this side of the panel So coming to the end of row 29, I'm going to skip this space with my three set of double crochet and into the last row. I'm going to go with a double crochet because this is going to be my decrease pattern. So basically, I am going to continue this dec decrease pattern on this side. I should chain one because I'm not decreasing my double crochet right into that first double crochet. And then I'm just going to work my granny square pattern right there. This is row 30. If you're making the same size, I'm working on row 30 at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and just work the usual pattern, which is granny square pattern, which is three double crochet in that space up until the very end. So coming right at the end of this row 30, because I'm not decreasing on this side, I am going to go in and do my last set of Three double crochet in that space because again we are not decreasing on the side and right into this double crochet i'm going to go with a double crochet to end the row so to get started you're going to chain one and turn and because we are not decreasing we are going to go right there with a double crochet and right into the space with a three set of double crochets and we are just going to repeat the pattern up until the very end where I'm going to go ahead and do my decrease because again we are decreasing at the end of the row but then we are decreasing on the opposite side of the panel so right here coming at the end of row 31 I'm going to gain we're decreasing on the side you can go ahead and add a stitch marker on one side just so you know where you're decreasing um, but I do not need to that's the reason why i do not but if you know you're going to you might probably forget where you're decreasing you might just as well add a stitch marker so whenever you get to this point then you know you are going to be decreasing on that side so because i'm decreasing and i'm at the end of the row i'm going to skip this and into here i'm going to go with my double crochet to seal off the row so that is basically row 31 so i'm going to repeat this for 31 more rows like i said i did a total of um i did a total of 62 rows so i'm going to repeat this for 31 more rows so you're basically going to continue to decrease on one side like i've said all the way to your desired length i did a total of 62 rows which is a total of 28 inches you can make this stop short or even longer um depending on what you're going for but i did a total of 62 rows so you're just going to continue to decrease on one side and then the opposite side where there is no decreasing so i'm going to get that done and then i'll come back and show you guys what the top of the panel looks like so right here i have my panel complete and again as you can see I have the decrease pattern on this side and then obviously the panel itself so you're going to go ahead and repeat this for the opposite panel like i mentioned the front and the back panel is the same you're going to go ahead and do the same amount of chains the same increase and decrease pattern that you did for your own panel and then you're going to complete it and then come back and so we can join these two together and we start working on the sleeves so right here i have both of my panel complete so i'm just going to in this case align both of them together making sure that my two decrease pattern obviously 
is on both si the same side because you have to make sure this is going to be the side where your decreasing is going to be depending on how you you want yours to be so again you can also put this panel across across your body to determine how wide you want the neckline to be like i usually do i'm just going to in this case just roughly take a measurement of how wide i want mine to be so what i would usually do in this case is also fold both sides both fold the panel into two and then with my measurement tape i'm just roughly going to i think i'm gonna stop right at the three and the half right there so i did go back and adjust the measurements i did for the neckline because it was too tight and i had like i had locks on and it was just too tight for it to go through my lock so i had to go back and readjust it um the best solution is for you to put this across your body and take a stitch marker and mark where you want your shoulders to be so where you're going where how wide you want your neckline to be basically um i was too lazy to do that and i had to go back and fix it so i'd suggest you do this so you don't have to go back like i did so now that i have both of these marked i know i am going to single crochet from here outwards and from here outwards with both panels so I'm going to grab my second panel. And for me, I'm just going to go ahead and single crochet for me to the opposite end. And of course, I'm going to do the same for me to the opposite end of the panel. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and So again, my panel is like this because I did my first panel a bit smaller. I do not think there's any need for me to go back and just redo the exact panel I did for the back panel. Because again, um, this obviously stretches. This is the only problem that this is a bit smaller than the top of the panel. So I do not think there's any need for me to go ahead and repeat. But if, you're, if you follow the instructions, then you should have the front and the back panel having the same size but i did the first back panel before i started filming this video so i made some mistake which i don't think i have to go back to redo because it doesn't make any difference so that's the reason why you see that um the first panel i made is a bit smaller than the second panel which i actually filmed because i will of course i'm making this for the first time but again if you follow all the instructions then you should have both panels with the same measurement so for me on now that i've attached both panels with a secure knot i'm going to go ahead and single crochet to the end of the panel So right here, I'm just going to single crochet both of the panels together. So because I know one panel is smaller than the other panel, I'm just going to make sure that I single crochet them in a way that um, at the end they should be equal. Again, you probably wouldn't have this stiff problem, but if you do, just like me, then you know it's it's fine. There is no need for you to go back to redo it. I just wanted to show you guys the process of me actually designing something for the first time and just how it's not that complicated as you think it should be. Like you don't always have to like take off your work and restart it because it's a lot of time and a lot of effort that I did put into the first panel. And I wanted to make the first panel first before starting starting filming because I wanted to see what the pattern was going to look like, which I did. And then of course I made some mistake. So I'm going to keep that in mind for the next time I make the stop. But I just wanted to show you guys the struggle. So this is me just basically single crocheting both of the panels together, making sure that I stretch the first panel that is a bit too small. Because when it, you stretch it, it does obviously equally just fit in. As you can see right there, it just find actually fits in because I stretched it while I was single crocheting both of them together. And I'm 
going to cut this off make a secure knot and sew in the loose ends so coming right up i have both of the ends single crochet together so now for the side you're going to determine how why do you want the neckline the your armpit area to be so you basically you can also put this across your side to decide how wide you want it to be because then we are going to single crochet with one end together so again with the sleeve you're going to put the panel across your body and just determine how you want the neckline the armpit hole to be remember that this pattern stretches so in my case I am just going to measure this and make mine seven inches. So right there, I am again going to take a yarn. And just attach this and act as if this is my stitch marker. So right there, I just attached my yarn and again, my arm um, hole measurement is seven inches. When you multiply this by two, it's going to be 14 inches, seven and a half, because again, this, but it obviously stretches all the way, so keep that in mind. So, this is the side where we stopped decreasing for the V pattern, right? For the V stitch pattern or for the decrease pattern so this is the side where we stop decreasing after a while so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead right from where i marked my armpit area i'm going to go ahead and single crochet both of them together up until the very end i hope you guys understand so right here i'm going to single crochet but again remember i did some difference between my back and my front panel so if you are making this again yours is the same so just ignore the fact that mine looks like this i again it's not a big deal for me i just wanted to show you guys how to do this because this is my first time so you're going to single crochet all the way to the very end and then afterwards you're going to go ahead and mark the same marked area on the opposite end let me do that as well so right here, I'm going to go ahead and take my seven inches, which is around there. Make sure this is together and I'm going to mark this again with a stitch marker. I'm using a yarn, of course, because I don't have any stitch marker available at the moment. That is marked and right from here, I'm going to go ahead and single crochet up until where we started with a decreasing so remember we started decreasing on the row 30 for my um size so you're going to basically stop right at where you start decreasing because this is going to be we are going to leave this side open so this is going to be open right here let me show you guys so you're going to right from your mark area you're going to single crochet both of the panels up until where you started with your decreasing and this is going to be open this is going to be the opening right there so i'm going to do that now and then i'll come back and show you guys what mine looks like so right here i have this side single crochet together again you're going to go ahead and single crochet up until the very end of the both panels together and that is just going to be one side of the panel and at the opposite side all you're going to do is from the marked area which is from your armpit area you're just going to go ahead and single crochet up until where you actually started decreasing on the side so that is what i'm going to do and then i'll come back and show you guys what the top looks like so now we are going to get started with the sleeve so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my yarn and attach it to the I usually just attach my hand to the same area of the armpit, which is basically around there, and make a secure knot. And still with my 3.5 millimeter, I'm going to go all around with single crochet. So again, I'm just going to chain one, and just in every space available, I'm going to go with a single crochet. In every space available. 
I would suggest you count how many single crochets you're doing just so you have an amount so you can do the same on the opposite side. So I'm just going to go all around with single crochets right there. So right here, coming right at the, where I started with my single crochet, I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch. Remember I chained one. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch right into the chain one space. So right there, I just did my single crochet. Row. So from here on, we are going to start working on the pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and chain one. And right into the same space, I'm going to go with a double crochet. Skip two single crochets and into the third, I'm going to go with a double three double crochets. So one, two, and into the third one, I'm going to go with three double crochets because we are basically going to work the same granny square pattern that we did for the two panels. So from here on, I'm going to skip two single crochets again and into the third, I'm going to go with three double crochet. Right there. Skip two and into the third with three double crochets. So I'm basically going to repeat this pattern two into the third with three double crochet all around until I get to this point. Right here I have my three last set of double crochets right there. What I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to go. So remember I, this is where I did my first um sing the first double crochet to get started with the first row and right in between this first and this last set of three double crochets I have three single crochets so again I'm going to skip this two and into the third I'm going to go with a set of three double crochets right there and because I'm going to work all around I'm not going to be slip stitching into anything at the beginning of the row I'm going to go right on top of the previous row with my set of three double crochets so right here after my three set of double crochets there i'm going to go right into this chain two space that we did from the beginning of the first row with three double crochets right on top of this previous row so basically i'm going to go right on top of the previous row with my second row so right into this chain two space again which is the space between these two grannies we are going to go with three double crochets and again into this th between these two grannies we are going to go with three double crochet which is another granny square so i'm basically going to continue this right until the very end which is so whenever i get to the amputee that means i'm starting a new row so i'm going to repeat this and then when i get to the end i'm going to show you guys how you can we are going to start off the next row so right here i just finished my second row and i'm about to start my third row again whenever you get to this seam area on the side that is where you end your row and start the next row so like i mentioned i'm going to go ahead and do my last three set of double crochets right there so like i mentioned we are not going to remember we did not chain anything for the beginning of row two because we are not slip stitching into anything we are going to go right on top of the previous row with a pattern so right into the space right there in between these two grannies i'm going to go with another granny three right there so this is the start of a new row which goes right on top of the previous row so i'm going to re repeat this pattern until i have few rows which is going to be so this is how it looks right now so i'm going to repeat this pattern until this sleeve is long enough to reach this side of my arm where i'm going to go ahead and start decreasing because i want the sleeves to be fitted basically so because of that i'm going to be decreasing on few so i'm going to continue right from here until it's long enough to get to this side of my arm. i don't know what this part is called but until it gets here and then i'm going to come back and show you guys what the decrease pattern is because we are going to be decreasing to get it to fit well basically so i'm going to go back continue to do this and then i'll come back and show you guys what i have going on so coming up this is what my sleeve looks like again you can see that i did some decreasing because my armpit hole measurement around my armpit hole measurement is way bigger than my arm or arm measurement basically so this was 14 and my arm measurement is basically 12 13 so 
I did do few decreasing. Again, there is no particular way to decrease for the sleeve because you're going to decrease depending on your um sleeve measurement, your arm measurement, and there's really no way for you to there's no particular instructions that I can give. The only thing I'll say is just like you just have to take a measurement and just evenly decrease around the row. And what I did, I'm going to show you guys because that is what I'm going to keep doing until this is, um, again, if I put this on right now, you can see that it's way bigger than my wrist. And I want it to fit my wrist when it gets to the end. So this is the decrease pattern that I'm going to do for the entire sleeve. And I just wanted to show you guys in case you're going for the same sleeve. But again, you do not have to. There's so many other sleeve patterns that you can go for. But if you're making the same, like I said, there is no particular rule that you need to decrease. Because I do. I just don't have the, the, the pattern for a particular decrease for each size. You're just going to decrease depending on your how you want your sleeve to be again. I hope you guys understand what I mean. So what I did for decreasing is I make sure that I'm decreasing at the this area of the panel because this is going to be right on that and not on the top. So what I usually do, I just make sure I decrease alongside the seam because this seam is going to be at the side and also underneath your sleeve, which is not going to be visible. I think that's the perfect place to decrease. So what I did for decreasing, remember we are working in rounds. What I did for decreasing is I, right here, I should go with my three set of double crochets, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to yarn over and insert my crochet hook. So instead of doing my first double crochet, I'm going to take my crochet hook and pass it through the next space, which is where I'm supposed to do my next set of granny square. So I'm going to insert it right there and I'm going to grab my yarn and just work my double crochet like I would usually do. So in this case, you see that I just like skip this one, but in the same time, I just did not skip it because if I had just skip it and go into this next one, there, there would have been a, an opening right there, which is now something we want. So what I do now from here on, so now I just did one. So I'm going to go down, skip this one and into the next, which we actually worked together. I'm going to go with two more, which is basically going to be one two three but of course it's not gonna look like the usual granny square because we had to decrease right there so i'm just going to go all around again with my granny square pattern so what i do is i don't decrease each row because if you do you're gonna get the bulkiness right there so what i do is i'm going to continue this row and then when i come to this i'm just gonna go right on top of it with my normal with no decreasing and I'm just evenly going to decrease along. So you can do this every um, other row. So when you do one decrease, make sure the next row you don't do any decrease until you have a desired length. Or you can do two decreasing and then another two rows of no decreasing. Just again, like I mentioned, there is no particular decrease pattern because I'm working on the stuff as you guys have seen from the video. I'm working on this for the first time. So I have no decrease pattern in mind. I'm just showing you guys how I evenly decrease to get my desired sleeve. But again, if you don't know what your sleeve to be like this, then this is optional for you. So right here, again, I'm coming to where I did the decrease. Like I said, I'm not decreasing every row. I'm going to decrease, not going to decrease on this row because I did decrease on the previous row. And remember, whenever you get to this side, that means you're going to start another row and off, end of the last row. So I'm just going to go right into this space with my three set because I'm not decreasing. So I'm just going to go with my granny square right into that same space. And I'm going to go, of course, go into the next one as well. So this is not going to be a decrease row like I mentioned. So right there, you see that there was a decrease at this row, but then the next one is just a normal row. So I'm basically going to continue this. Try this on um, around your arm. I'll take your arm, me arm measurement to just like play around with how you want the fitting to be of the sleeve. And I'm just going to continue to do this until I have my desired sleeve length. And I'm going to, of course, repeat this for the opposite sleeve. So currently, I think this is a total of see 
currently it's 13 inches but again it's three inches so keep that in mind as well so i'm going to repeat this until i have my desired sleeve and of course i'm going to repeat the same on the opposite sleeve and then at that point your top is actually complete but i'll come back and show you guys what the top looks like when it's complete so guys right here i have both of my sleeve complete i did a total of 35 rows for each sleeve again like i mentioned i just went ahead and decrease up until i have my sleeve to be like this um so i'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and end off the row remember we were working in rounds so i'm going to show you how you can go ahead and just end off this row to seal everything off so again remember whenever we get to this armpit area which is the same area that is when we are going to end one row and get started with the other row so that means whenever we want to end the row we, are, we need to get to this end so you're going to work your panel up until this end where you're going to switch to a smaller crochet hook remember we were using a 3.5 so you're going to switch to something smaller we recommend a 2.5 or even smaller because this is what you need for to end off the row so after your last set of three of granny stitch right there you're going to go ahead and just single crochet remember usually you would skip this three granny square next and go into this space with your granny stitch but now we are going to go right into this granny stitch and single crochet right there and into the next with another single crochet and into the next with, we are basically going to single crochet a few stitches and then slip stitch few stitches as well and this is just to seal off the row because remember we were not single crocheting us chaining anything at the beginning of each row so this just actually seals everything off so of course you're just going to cut off your yarn and sew in your loose ends so this is how it looks and again you can just go ahead and stitch stretch this stitch a bit so it actually just equals and this is how the final sleeve looks like so guys this is the final top i hope you enjoyed watching this and making this top as much as i enjoyed filming it and creating this design for you all let me know what you would like to see next and if course if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section and if you have any video suggestions as well um feel free to drop them down and if you like the video of course give me a big thumbs up as well and i'll see you guys in my next video ciao ciao